Good evening guys, this is Zinthus and this is a Saturday night. Now guys, be easy on me because this is my first Let's Play. I'm going to be playing Amnesia The Dark Descent. Now it's a first person game, I know one or two things about it. Um, there is one or two enemies in the game, you are unable to defend yourself. So what you have to rely on is running and hiding. Very effective in my opinion for, well, just adding to the atmosphere, horror. Now, without further ado, <coughs> let's get this show on the road. Now, here we go. Start, new game. In case you're wondering about the continue there, I did just test this to make sure the camera is working, so let's get started, guys. Music. Ominous. <clears throat> Don't forget, some things must be forgotten. Oh, it's me. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at Mayfair. At, uh, Mayfair. What have I done? Nice. This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is Windows. Yes. Go get Daniel. Daniel's son. Breaking glass. Did we just have a drink of something? It's a sad day and night, I know I'd like to. Nice graphics. Hmm. Right. Okay. Over oh, here. And we can't go this way. Oh. Oh. Okay. Follow the liquid trail and find its source. Right, it's got me in this thing. And rose petals. My bloody valentine. So, right, pink blood. Okay, I'm assuming some sort of Pokemon has been injured. Am I 1956 Ash Ketchum? <coughs> Jigglypuff. Slow poke. Or is it the full moon and some woman has forgot her sanitary towels? Ah, my leg! Oh, oh. Get up. <coughs> yeah, read one or two things about this game. Um, it's a classic in terms of atmosphere. The lore is amazing. There's one or two games such as uh, A Machine for Pigs. I intend on playing this. They reckon this is extremely scary. Hope these guys don't come to life. Uh, still, the camera's a bit fuzzy. Oh! Okay. Heavy breathing. Oh, okay. Tinderbox. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Hello. Fire. I could do! Tinderbox. Ha! <laughs> I knew we had a drink. Boom! <coughs> okay. Right. Follow is the liquid trail. Ah, je vous Graphics are very nice. I wonder what engine this was made on. Can you sprint? Ah, oh, no! Oh, that was embarrassing. Ha! Let us continue. Oh. 
Oh. Oh shit. Okay. Creaking. Legs! Oh, get up. Get up. Where are you looking? Was he looking at this? Blood here. Slimer. Pink. Camp. Gear. Science. Slimer. No. Right. Low. A second. Anything? Oh, key. Oh, tender box. Stair. Right. Oh, right. Yes. I'm going to record a timer. I'm going to make these videos approximately 20 minutes long. Bam. Yeah, so once again, guys, uh, my name is Zinthus. And it's Saturday night. I've got nothing better to do. So even if you don't like my videos, hopefully you like the game. Okay. Um, let's just continue, shall we? Oh, shit. Oh, light. 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 Fuck. Oh, I can sprint now. That wasn't really a sprint. More of a, more of a jog, if anything. Curtains. <clears throat> Going down. Go down. Oh, ambience. Old archives. Archives. Traveling to Dorm. Okay, nice old lower intermissions there. Oh, books. More blood. Aya! Who is leaving these doors open? Ah, heartbeat. <coughs> Ow! Oh. Alright. Oh. It's very creepy. Excuse me. I've been battling a cold, so forgive the occasional. Ah, oh, it's dark. Forgive the occasional clearing of the throat. I promise you, I'm not being impatient. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So staying in the light <coughs> makes everything go back to normal. More cavings. Where is this? Transylvania. Okay, I'm looking over here. <coughs> ah. Tinderbox. I'll buck you. Oh, yes, go. Picked up a lantern. Press your lantern on. Okay. Ah, F. F for flash light. 1983 style. Uh, 83? 1883 style. Okay. <coughs> what is with these tremors? Does Daniel have IBS? Oh. Ah, uh, which? Ah, uh, yeah. Could have sworn I heard footsteps. Hey, oh. Uh, stuck the fire. Fire. Nope. Nope. 
more tinder. Got the impression this game's gonna get dark. <coughs> Camera seems to pan towards anything of relevance. Let's see what this says. 19th of August, 1839. <coughs> I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Alcohol. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. God! If not, this will sound <clears throat> horrible. Monster. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His okay. body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. My no young, for you. strong body is One going to go into uh, Alexander's inner sanctum. Is following you. It's yeah. a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend Send into the darkness, the darkness where, where Alexander, Alexander waits, waits and, and murder, murder him. Your the former, former self, self, Daniel. Daniel. I've got to mention, the voice acting is very good. Nice British accent there as well. I forgot where the camera was. <laughs> Hello. Daniel, have you gone through all these? Right, so Daniel is me, and I've took a drink to forget, and this Alexander guy is royally pissed me off. And there's something after me. Hint. Really? Yeah, no. Notes. Notes to form a set. Okay, it goes a lie. Entrance hall. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick to his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. Big map. <coughs> Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. Oh, You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. That is fantastic narration. That guy has one killer voice. I hope he got paid a lot of money for this. Oh. It is a it is tough and pliant. It can't be torn by hand or tools. Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? Hint taken. Alright. Wow, yes. Oh, nice. Thank you. So the tinder boxes are for lighting candles from what I've gathered the oil obviously is for the lantern. Yeah. Yeah. Disrespect your surroundings. <laughs> Boop. A book on gravity. Oh. going on? Read this. 
All right. Wine cellar laboratory. Nice. A castle with a lab. It's like Frankenstein. Laboratory. Uh, wine cellar. Danny allowed to drink, remember? Boom. It's locked and will not open without a key. Another scratching of memento. Fine. Really? That what Keith do. Another lone soul in London. Same department. Every soul in London is alone. Here. Why are you rolling? Start beating to that. Oh wait, I'm in the yeah, I'm in the dark. That's right. Ah, oh, do you hear that sound? Ooh, it's like teeth grinding. Vent fumes, most power, blah 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 blah. I don't know if I shall do it. I can then move them to the wine cell. Chemical ingredients have been moved from the laboratory to the wine cellar. Why? I am hearing noises. Oh, I don't know if you guys are. Oh! Third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the potentially the, the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and operament have been given to, and the cuprite binds them well. This time I'll we'll attempt acrogena instead of aquafortis, and hope that will produce it an even more uneven solution. The experiment was successful. I should have clicked on something else. Yes. Excuse me. Right. One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and, and long for the life. I'm hearing sounds. Footsteps. I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint. Why I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. Okay, um, I know you guys are probably just watching this just obviously for gameplay, so I'll try and keep reading to a minimum. Okay. Ah, yes! Head to 
Daniel, you strong. Is anybody here there? Calm down. Little jump before the entrance. Any WoW player will know what that's about. <coughs> yes, I play a WoW. From time to time. Get away from who? I like this game, it, it encourages you to forage. Anyone who's ever played Fallout or Fable, just thinking of a few Final Fantasy games, it really rewards you to obviously explore the environment. I'm sure the creators of the game would also like you doing that. Okay. Uh, left? Left. Archives. I know it's archives before you start. <clears throat> right, it seems a bit more homely here, this. I can hear something. Broken door, nice. Rare books. Libri Rari. That almost sounds like library. I know my local library doesn't have any rare books. I'd like to thank God. Jesus. Same guy. <coughs> Collision detection. Nice. Right. Nothing in here. 16th of May, 1839. Daniel. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making hey, it impossible um, to uh, dig until dusk. <clears throat> How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast <clears throat> plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. Find out. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. More. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. You know, the professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Excellent narration. Love the voice. Lovely. <coughs> it's beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me. Catalogues. <coughs> okay. Aldi. Ikea. Argos. Right, okay, I hereby offer my full attention services to Alexander Baron of Brennenberg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition to Alexander Baron of Brennenberg, this right man of services, okay. <coughs> Alexander, he's here, he's been mentioned. Yes! Foraging, guys, foraging. FTW. Right. <coughs> Stole my sound. What is happening? Slight headache. Damn, that was a good potion. Amnesia. He's forgot his memory. I know what amnesia meant. It's just obviously what it meant in terms of the law. 
Makes sense. It does. It does. Oil? Is this a parchment? Yes. Let it go. I dissolved it. Yeah. I'm hearing some weird noises. Study. Study them. Gotta study them all. Oh my god, did you hear that? Oh my god, that's a horrible noise. Right. I'm gonna stop this recording here, guys. I'm out of time for now. Return to my other videos for part two of Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Starting to get interesting now. <clears throat> if it hasn't already been interesting, that is. Yeah. Right. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Tune in next time.